Hey, how's it guys? In this BigQuery tutorial, I'll show you how to download a query result as a data frame using BigQuery API in Python. So here in my BigQuery console, I have this uh, SQL statement to select records from my reddit.bigquery uh, table. And I want to export the result set as a pandas data frame object. And there are a couple reasons why you may want to export a query output as a data frame object. So first, you can perform additional analysis or transformation, which is going to be uh, pretty cumbersome to do in SQL. And you don't want to incur additional costs. Or if you want to export your query output to different files, such as an Excel file, a JSON file, or a CSV file, then it's going to be uh, pretty easy to do using a data frame object. Now let's look at an example on how to export a query output as a data frame in Python. Now let me go into my VS Code editor. So from this code block, I'm importing the OS module and the time module. And from google.cloud library, I'm importing the uh, BigQuery module. And these two lines is going to construct my uh, BigQuery client instance. And here's my variable to uh, store the SQL statement. If you want to export a query output as a data frame object, first we need to uh, perform a query operation. So I'm going to reference the uh, client object dot query, then I'll pass the uh, SQL statement. And I'll name the output as query job. So when you run the query operation or the query method, I'm just going to make sure that uh, all other jobs that have a higher priority is going to get finished first, then it's going to uh, perform the job that you assign to the queue. And once we create the uh, query job, we want to insert a while loop to wait until the job is complete. And we can do that by using a while loop. So here I'm inserting a while loop. I'm saying that uh, check the query job state. While if the state is not equals to done, meaning that the job is complete, then I want to uh, reload the job every three seconds. And once the query job state is uh, complete, I can now uh, go ahead and uh, uh, export the output as a data frame object. And I can do that by referencing the query job object to data thing. So what I like to do here is like to insert an if condition. So I'm going to say if query just state is equals to done. Then I want to control my data frame object. Otherwise, I know this can be uh, an issue with my uh, query job. I want to print the error message. And I can print the error detail by referencing the query job object. That result. Now let me go ahead and uh, run uh, this code block. Oh, actually, I forgot to create my uh, client instance. So let me run the first code block here to create my BigQuery client instance, as well as to uh, create my SQL query variable. Now I'm going to uh, run the while loop. It looks like the query is complete. Now I can run my if condition. All right, so once I created my uh, data frame object, I can print the uh, table to return the uh, result set. Now if I want to export the uh, table to different file format, as I mentioned before, we can do that pretty easily using a data frame object. So I want to export the result set as a CSV file. So I can use the to CSV method followed by the file name. If I want to export the result set as a JSON file, I need to transpose the table first, followed by using the to JSON method. Right, so uh, here in my project folder, let me delete these two files. Now, if I go ahead and uh, run line 19 and 20, Oh, so this should be a string. All right, so let me try again. Now, if I go to my project folder, and here's the uh, CSV file, and here's the JSON file. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And I hope you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.